Hello friends and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you a Minecraft clone called Mindtest. There are different in the market, uh, different clones of the, of the software of the very popular Microsoft game, uh, but uh, the Mindtest version of Mindtest for me is the, the, the best one of all of them. And remember Minecraft is not free, you need to pay, and uh, if you want to use it for educational purposes, you also need to, uh, there is an educational version that is very good, but you need to have a license for that. But uh, if you want to skip that, uh, just for fun or for your school, you can use Mindtest, which is completely free and open source. Now, and it offers uh, most of the functionalities that you have in uh, Minecraft. So you get it in this address, mindtest.net. This is the official website. You click on download and you scroll down until you find your uh, kind of interface or architecture that you need. In my case, it's Windows, so you can download the latest Windows version. Once you download that, uh, it will be a compressed file that you can extract in your desktop or whatever you want. And once it's extracted, you will see that the folder will be there, something like this, depending on the version that you have. I am using 0.4.16. And when you double click on it, you have different folders. The executable one or the executable file is in the bin folder, and then you go where it says mind test. You double click that, and the game main interface opens. I really like how clean and neat the mind test. Uh, um, opening interface is. It's very simple to the point and it works really well. Remember this is not only a single player game, you can also click on host a server and list your server in the list of available games, uh, game servers and uh, so if you click here on play online you will see a list of, of games that are online and people that are on and you know the different signal strength. So you can host uh, a mind test game you know and uh, have a multiplayer game of your creation and it's really really good because the the mind test installation file is very small it's portable it's really super convenient and uh, well let me just go back to local game and uh, I'm gonna click on new and uh, I'm gonna test write this test and uh, you know every time you create a new world uh, the mind test randomly generates uh, all the structures or all the all the work for you and if you change the seat here then it will you know it will create another kind of uh, environment for you for now I'm just gonna leave it like that and uh, here you have different uh, kinds of map generation versions and I'm gonna click on create you can experiment with this to see different uh, wars and different kinds of uh, environments that a mind test is able to create uh, so once that the board is created and you can just click on um, let me see. I'm just gonna click. No, I'm gonna host the game. Just play game, and that will start the game. And that's it. The world is generated. In this case, it's a, a winter kind of environment. Uh, every time it's different. It could be, you know, a tropical environment, a winter environment. It depends on that uh, seed and that uh, what it was randomly generated. And then you can move around in your world. I just pressed the escape key to see, you know, the menu, the game menu. The game is now paused, and you can see all the main controls so you move your character with the standard A, W, D, S uh, keys that's how you move it you know up and um, front and back right and left and you also space bar is to jump uh, left click uh, um, if you click left click is to open and close stuff uh, uh, and the actually the left click is to actually uh, destroy things and the right click is to open doors and stuff like that and you click on the let me get out of there uh, continue you click on the eye that's the inventory and that's the uh, the stuff that you have it's very similar almost the same that what you have in Minecraft and if you are new to Minecraft too don't worry I will co in in, a f in the next videos I will explain everything from the grounds up but I just want to tell you now that this is the, the all the inventory that you can use and place so for example if I click on this block and I place it here okay you see that it, it appears in the bottom line and the bottom bar that means I can use it and you see that my character is now holding that and I'm gonna put an apple here too so you can see it actually I just dropped an apple here and uh, I meant to put it here so I have it in the inventory so I see I dropped the apple here and you see it in the environment I'm gonna move around but if I want to place another one you just use the uh, scroll or the mouse and that puts it in your hand and then you can just left click it and that positions the apple there uh, so see it's different when you put it from the inventory like that or when you put it you know using the left click I can put as many as, as I want now but if I want to destroy it or pick it up I can left click you know and that uh, 
destroys the apple. Uh, in this case here, it will pick it up because it was on the floor. So, and if I wanna put a block, let's say I change with the wheelie mouse, now I left click and I'm constructing or putting different blocks here. And that is the, uh, uh, you know, the basics of how to move around, grab objects, destroy objects. If I wanna destroy this, I just left click and they get destroyed. Depending on the object, you know, it would take more time or less time to destroy. And sometimes you will use tools like, you know, a pick or a shovel or stuff like that to, to make your work easier or faster. But uh, Mindtest also has a creative mode where uh, you, if things, uh, you know, happens instantaneously, you don't have to um, uh, grind or, any, uh, you know, look for resources, it's all there. Again, I will talk in more details about this in, in future videos, but for now, I just wanted to show you Mindtest, how it looks like. It's really great. In this world, you can also fly and do all kinds of things. Uh, and this is it. This is Mindtest, uh, the alternative, free and open source version of Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like it, please stay tuned for more. Uh, I will continue you know, giving more explanations of how, how to use a mind test. Also, I'm gonna talk about modifications later. I'm gonna show you how to copy paste structures for fast building and many, many other things uh, uh, in the future. Thank you for watching.